All right, so in this one, we are going to be setting up a web faction for a Django project. Now, in this one, we are going to be doing uh, quite a few different things. First off, we should assume that the web faction, we already have an account there. We have a username and password, so you've already done all this stuff. Uh, if you haven't, definitely go back and do that. And we do have some deals for web faction in general. If you haven't seen those yet, those will be in our GitHub as well. Uh, but I'll just pull them up really quickly so you can see them um, on here too. So the deals themselves, these are the deals. Again, they are affiliate links, but um, the nice thing about WebFaction is it does they will help you um, do your projects and get it off the ground, uh, but also that they have a free trial. Okay, so now that we've got that all out of the way, let's go ahead and sign into WebFaction. So this is a blank account that I'm signing into. I don't have a whole lot of stuff going in here, so Hopefully you don't see a lot of these errors, but more than realistically, we see this websites of cfedeploy.webfactional.com. That's what we're gonna be working off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that web page. So cfedeploy.webfactional.com. All right, so it just says hello world. Cool, that's what we wanna see. We wanna see a very basic site that's actually already on there. And if you navigated to the site, this is probably what you'll see yourself. Um, so going into the dashboard, this is where we will actually create the site. Uh, now, the first thing that we want to do is go into domains and websites, and then we can go into websites. So the website itself, it's already a website and it already has something uh, which is basically just static data that's coming through here. So what I'm going to do is actually add in a new application. So click on applications. And we're going to create a new application that is a Django application. So in here, we're just gonna go ahead and we'll let it load for a second. And we're gonna create a new application in here. And we're gonna call it MVP land. So like MVP landing. And we're gonna select Django. And depending on which version of Python you're used to, you click that version. And you also wanna make sure that you're using the latest version of Django that's available. Notice that there are older versions of Django on here too, but they say insecure. And that's the only reason they say insecure is because Django releases security patches and that's the reason that there's a new version anyway. So we're gonna go with Django 1.8, like what we've been following with and Python 2.7. Um, and from here, we will actually go ahead and create our Django project. So I'll just hit save. And this is creating a Django project uh, on our account, please note that there is one called MVP landing and ours here is MVP land. That is something to note. This might take a moment, so I'm just gonna let it do this. While it does that, I'm gonna open databases up in a new tab. So you wanna actually create a database, uh, but notice that we already have, um, or we wanna click on databases. Oh, looks like, looks like when I click to do databases, that's what's happened. So we go to databases, click on databases. And let's go ahead and add database. So I'm gonna call this MVP land and I'm gonna keep it as is. And then as far as our user, we're gonna create a brand new user for this. We do wanna keep note of this. So I'm gonna go into my production code and I'm going to just add in some stuff here. So it, we're using post SQL uh, or whoops, post, there we go. And then we wanna make a new user so in my case, I'll do CFE deploy. And then I'm gonna just create a password that is going to be secure. So I'm not actually showing you this password on purpose. And that is also something that you should do as well. Okay, so now we're gonna create that database. And the database name again is MVP land, just like the other one. So MVP land, and then we also wanna get um, the database name or the username, so username. And that is CFE deploy and then password. All right, so mine's gonna be a little bit different, but okay, so we've got that. And let's go ahead and look at our application list. It looks like MVP LAN is actually there and now working. Cool, so let's actually connect to this application but first off i'm going to go into my websites and click on cfe deploy and instead of using the application that's currently using which is this right here we're going to close that out we're going to add a new application 
or excuse me, we're going to create a reuse an existing application, which is MVP land. Let me go ahead and grab that one. And I'm also going to create a new one. And this is going to be for static. So MVP land static. And this is going to be just static data. So it's just static. And you can do static only. That's okay. Uh, we don't need extra information. And right here, I'm just going to do slash static, just like that. So go ahead and save it. And this is creating our static data for us. Let's make note of what it's called as MVP land static. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make note of that on my production code as well. So static is here. MVP land static. Okay. So now I've got a few things that are working here that we can now work with. So I'm going to save this. Um, no, we must not have a trailing slash. So just get rid of that trailing slash. And there we go. A website has been updated. All right. So now if we go to this website, we refresh in here. At some point, we will actually need to restart the server for that to actually work. But for now, what we're going to do is actually connect using a secure shell. So that's an SSH connection. So if I close this out, I'm going to do SSH. And you don't have to be in a virtual environment. You can do it anywhere. But I'm just going to do it in the virtual environment. And this is going to be the secure connection that we do. And if you are on Windows, use that program, PuTTY SSH. That's what you're going to be using. And you're going to be doing the same thing. So SSH. And then we're going to use our username, which is CFE deploy at CFE deploy dot web factional dot com. So this is going a secure server or it says a secure shell into this user's account, basically. And then you see something like this. This is uh, assuming that you want to um, use this host site. So we actually need to add our uh, RSA key to it. So we added it to it. So it's a known host now. And now we want to add in our password, which is your user password. So that's the what you'll end up using. And notice it's not actually typing in the password for me. Right? It doesn't actually show that I'm typing. And that's something that the command line does all the time. Um, OK, cool. So now that I'm actually logged in, notice that it looks a lot like a virtual environment. Right? So if I list everything out, I can see different things in here. And if I change into web apps, I can see MVP LAN, MVP LAN static. And I can change into MVP LAN and list everything out here. And we see Apache, Ben, Live, My Project. All that stuff. So if I change into Apache 2 and change into the bin and hit dot slash restart, that actually restarts the server. So if I refresh in here, it's not actually showing that still, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and go back. And that's all we're going to leave it as far as the secure shell is concerned. So if I CD into my project, for example, we're going to see some stuff. And that is we see manage.py and my project. So that's the Django project right there. But we want we don't want to use my project. We want to use our actual project. So let's just leave that for now. All right, so that's logging in through the secure shell. In the next one, we are going to be discussing how to log in using FTP so we can actually grab our actual project and upload it into this server. Um, and FTP allows us to do that in a way that we are much more familiar with. And that is a simple drag and drop from one folder to another. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.